If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be the continuation of my best drugstore makeup series. So I will link everything down below if you're looking for a new foundation, blush, bronzer, highlighter. I have done a lot of these videos so far, and today we are doing concealers. I love me some concealer, especially drugstore ones. I feel like so many great ones have been coming out. I've been testing a bunch, which I feel like I need to do just an overall like group review of like 10 or 15 of them. But basically these are my five favorites at the moment. Some of these have been in my collection for the longest time and I just keep going back to them. And a few of these are newer and I just wanted to recommend them. I did attempt, the key word here is attempt, to apply all of them so you can see an eye with and one without. Uh, it kind of went so-so. I will work on my technique and uh, hopefully I improve the next time I try to do this. But I just wanted to try and show you the amount of coverage visually. Uh, I did swatch all of them on my hand, uh, kind of to just let them oxidize a little bit dry so I can show you, you know, if you go in store, if you have to expect to go a shade lighter or something. So yes, let's go through them because there are five. I'm gonna attempt to go from the lightest coverage to fuller coverage, but let's be real, there's one light coverage and the rest is pretty much full. <laughs> uh, the one that has been in my life for the longest time that I have repurchased multiple times. I used to have really, really dry skin and it used to be the only concealer that worked for me. Maybelline Fit Me. I would call this light medium coverage. What I like about this is that it's the only concealer pretty much that I've ever tried that doesn't dry my under eyes. And if you don't wear full coverage or you prefer just to wear like zero uh, foundation, you know a bunch of concealers will give you that, you know, separation between the under eye concealed and then the rest of your face. It just doesn't blend nicely. This absolutely does. So I used to wear pretty much light coverage and I still do on a daily basis very often. And this just works beautifully for that. Again, it doesn't dry out my under eyes. It doesn't crease. It doesn't move around. It doesn't disappear either. And it's great. Uh, I will include, I have some swatches from three different shades. They have uh, extended their color range since, but you can see the different undertones between those three shades. Keep in mind though, that they finally fixed it. Uh, number 15 used to be the lightest, but now it's number 10. So I have the number 10 fair and you can see kinda, it's kinda hard because it is pretty much my skin tone, all of them. Uh, but this is the freshly swatched one. It looks a bit yellower and lighter. And then once it's dry, it's right here. Uh, it's a bit darker and a bit more neutral. It works really well for me. I like the shade, I like the price, and I just, I mean, I don't even know how many tubes of this I've used up, and I can't recommend this enough. I feel like everyone kind of knows about it, but this is like my foolproof recommendation if you have more mature skin too. This is great because again, it is lighter coverage, so it's a bit more forgiving and it's not drying, so love it. Also in a pinch, if you forgot to bring your foundation and you're on a trip or something, this can easily be a BB cream. The next one is also from Maybelline because real talk, this whole video could just be about Maybelline concealers. Their concealers and their lipsticks, they just do it for me. And they have so many options too. And I'm glad that they're finally expanding their uh, color ranges for most of these. So their newest concealer, the Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. Wow, I was so impressed when I tested that for the first time. It is one of the only concealers that I don't feel the need to set it. It kind of dries to a matte finish on its own, but not in a drying way. I feel like some fuller coverage concealers tend to be a bit tacky and you need to set them. And then if you set them, some powders don't mix well, or then powders can be too dehydrating. Uh, not this. So it dries fairly matte on its own, like I said. I do like the mix of the squeezy tube with the wand because it reminds me of the Urban Decay uh, primer potion, kind of, right? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so I feel like I can get the last bit of it. The applicator is very, very soft too. Uh, this one, though, I do feel like it oxidizes a lot, which that's why I did the swatches, so you can see it. I have the color 10 Fair, and you can see how light it is when I first apply it, and then it dries quite a bit darker, like two or three shades darker. Uh, I do feel like it dries a bit more pinky tone, so just FYI, if you see it, number Fair is definitely pink. The only thing, though, Fair is the second lightest shade, and this is probably not going to work for me for the winter. So it's more of a like most of the year-ish shade for me. So if you have really fair skin, this will not work for you. And I imagine that the shade lighter is also something that's going to oxidize quite a bit. So if you have really fair skin, you might not be able to find your shade in here. I do hope they will bring out more shades. I believe there are 12. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but yes, keep in mind that it oxidizes a lot. Still something I really recommend and enjoy. So if you can find your shade, definitely try it out. 
a holy grail for me. I have talked about this a lot and I will never stop because oh, it's so good. Catrice, their concealer. This is their liquid camouflage high coverage concealer. It is the one that I'm wearing right now and I feel like I need the coverage. I feel like we all think our under eyes are super bad even though they're probably not. Uh, but my excuse is that since the surgery, I haven't slept a full night of sleep ever. I do feel like I need less sleep, but uh, about five or six hours is not enough and I do feel like I'm, it's showing. <laughs> My under eyes are definitely in need of coverage and this just really does it. Uh, full coverage, waterproof, it doesn't budge all day long. I do use the shade number 10, which is porcelain, which the good news is that they have finally increased their color range this year, I believe, because they used to have like literally three shades and then they increased two more shades, which was still ridiculous. And now they have 16 shades. I don't think you can find them all in store in every country, but if you are able to order it online, definitely get your shade because this is so amazing. This is definitely something that I think a lot of people will enjoy because it is full coverage without being drying. It's pure magic to me. Uh, like I said, I am wearing it today. I used up a whole tube of this in a year. And I did not only use this concealer. I literally just would gravitate towards it all the freaking time, go back to it. And I have a bunch of other ones. I tested other ones, but it would always be the one I would go back to because I just really adore it. It's just so easy. Um, again, it does oxidize a bit. I mean, everything pretty much dries darker. Oh, and by the way, you can see that this one is very, very well loved too. And probably about here and there. So I will need to get a backup soon. But you can see that at first it does uh, look quite light and a bit yellow and it dries almost a bit gray. So again, this will only work if you have a more cool undertone. They have, I believe number five and 15 are both super yellow, which is why I had settled on this one and it does work on me. I think so, you can see it. <laughs> uh, but yes, I really adore this. Can't recommend this enough. I hope they will bring the shades in store everywhere, but yes. Another awesome concealer, another Maybelline recommendation. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, their Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. I have the shade number 20 light, and this is a summer shade for me. Out of all of these, actually, it is the only concealer that I also use on my face. I feel like I'm very difficult with face concealer because I have found a long time ago my holy grail, which is not a drugstore. This is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. This will die with me. Um, I find that this is the closest thing I could find to it at the drugstore. I mean, even both of them being squeezy tubes, right? Let's say you have a big old cyst on your face and you've used some products to try and kill it. It dried it out and then you have a crusty, really angry red patch and you're desperate to try and cover it, but everything you try to apply on top just make it worse. We've all been there, maybe. This is where it's at because it will really cover it. It will not budge all day long and it won't make it look worse. So definitely a my favorite drugstore face concealer, but you can totally use it under your eyes too. I personally tend to, again, use it during the summer, hence the shade number 20, because it can be slightly drying. I've noticed that a lot of concealers, like I'm thinking, for example, the new uh, CoverGirl one, I feel like it doesn't blend nicely with a sponge, the water just doesn't mix well with it. I don't have that issue with this one, so I feel like it's really, really great because even though it is full coverage, you can blend it very nicely, and overall just, a big favorite for me, again, this one is a squeezy tube, so it's very easy to use. So you can see that once again, it does dry darker. The dark shade is definitely perfect for me for my face uh, during the summer slash uh, middle of summer. It might be great for my under eyes too, like I said. But yes, uh, it doesn't become too crazy of a color either. But number 20 is definitely more neutral than the other shades that I've mentioned. I really like this. Can't recommend this enough. I know so many people that actually use this under their eyes because you don't need to apply a lot and it just looks great. So last but definitely not least, I wanted to talk about the BH Cosmetics. This is their Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. This is by far the one that has the best color range, but it's also the worst match for me because I had to order it online. This is the color 102. And the only thing I don't like about this is the applicator. I feel like it's just wrong. So I kind of have to do this, apply it, and you don't need to apply a lot either. So it's not a big deal, but you know, just mentioning it. This is full coverage. Like I thought the other ones were full coverage. This is like, you don't even have under eyes full coverage. But uh, whenever I go out, whenever I am filming, for example, and I want to look extra flawless, or if you want to take pictures and everything, this is where it's at. It is waterproof. It will stay all day, all night. You could sleep with this. You will wake up with perfectly concealed under eyes. Don't do it. But if you do, probably would. I do feel like this one 
absolutely needs to be set because it is a bit tacky like forever like I feel like I've had this for a while in my hand and it doesn't fully dry yet so uh, but you can see that it definitely doesn't dry darker like again it doesn't fully dry <laughs> But at the same time, it didn't oxidize. So I feel like whenever you swatch it, this is the color you're gonna have. For me, this only works for the winter color-wise. So it's not necessarily the best mix to have something full coverage because it will be drier. Uh, but again, the shade only works for me during that time of the year. So if I'm filming and I really want to look extra flawless or I'm going out, this will work for me. And again, will not budge and it has the best color range. So definitely would recommend this if you might not have super dry on your eyes and you're looking to look flawless and don't mind to actually set it with powders. So I hope this video was helpful, kind of wanted to share my favorite ones, hopefully the close-ups worked out. Let me know if you would be interested in me reviewing like a bunch of them, uh, whether they're favorites or not, just basically a group review. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying this series, don't forget to subscribe and check out the playlist down below. I will actually be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I will see you in my next one. Bye!